Okay, thanks for coming y'all. Today we're going to be doing a quick in-service on one of our national patient safety goals for 2017. One of our patient safety goals requires that we maintain and communicate accurate, accurate patient medication information. And this includes explaining the importance of managing their medications upon discharge. So at Gwinnett Medical, we've renewed our efforts to provide a safe and accurate discharge for all of our patients regarding their medications. Currently, our home discharge med lists are not being updated with the next dose due. Um, nursing is now going to be responsible for updating that next do dose due as well as um, dis any discontinued meds. And this will allow the patient to take their medication at the appropriate time with the appropriate dose, hopefully to avoid the double dosing or any skip doses. Um, we're also going to begin to list all discontinued meds and um, this will help the patient from resuming those medications at home. The first article I researched showed that adverse drug reactions are cited as the fourth leading cause of death in the U.S. And why is this happening? Um, advanced age, people on complicated drug regimens, there's polypharmacy, and uh, there's inaccurate medication history given to us. What can we do to improve the accuracy of the medication record? We can call the pharmacy to confirm home meds if the patient's unable to tell us. We want to make sure that every time we're giving the right dose, the right route, the right frequency. And it's also important to note the date that the prescription was last filled. Sometimes patients come in and they say they're on a particular medication, but they haven't been taken it in the last four months. So we need to know that. Um, we can contact the patient's family, ask them to bring all prescription bottles into the hospital and we can contact the assisted living or the um, nursing home to also confirm medications, as well as the primary care physician. An estimated 60% of all medication errors occur during transition of care. This is why it's so important that we send these patients home with a complete and accurate discharge medication risk. Um, patients that are especially vulnerable include the elderly, um, patients that are taking many medi medications due to multiple conditions, um, patients with chronic conditions, and those that are cognitively impaired or lacking a support system at home. Upon discharge, we are going to begin using a teach-back method to ensure that patients understand their medications. We want to make sure that they understand why they're taking this medication, what the adverse or side effects are, where medications should be stored, and how long they will be on a particular medication. Research, research also shows that 71.2% of hospital discharges contain a medication reconciliation problem, which is a big contributor to hospital readmissions. So to fix this problem, we have done something that was implemented uh, by another hospital, and it's based on a surgical timeout. It's going to require an independent two-nurse medication reconciliation check, um, not just on our orthopedic patients, but on all our patients. Um, and research has showed that with the two-nurse check, that um, discrepancies improved uh, drastically. There was a 75% reduction in discrepancies. I'm going to give you an example. There was a case study recently of a 69-year-old male who came into the hospital with chronic AFib, and he had had an associated CBA with that. He was at home, and he was taking warfarin and aspirin. Um, he came back into the ED complaining of a severe headache. His INR was 4.9, and the CT showed a hematoma. He went to the ICU the next day and was restarted on his Coumadin because he was high risk for CBA. And then one day after the Coumadin was reinitiated, the hematoma uh, resurfaced. So the Coumadin was discontinued and the patient was discharged home. Um, he followed up with his primary care physician and the INR was still found to be elevated. So the physician um, um, asked the patient and he said, yes, I'm still taking my Coumadin. So where do you think the hospital 
hospital might have gone wrong in giving discharge instructions. That's okay. changes coming to the hospital. Um, nursing, of course, will continue to make a good faith e effort in obtaining all the medications, and we are going to do a better job of calling the pharmacy, calling the doctors, calling the nursing homes, calling the family. If um, we're concerned that the patient is unreliable of the story, we are going to be required to do all of those things. Um, we're going to have changes to our med reconciliation pro policy effective February 1st. Two nurses are going to be required to do the um, medication discharge sheet. And we will sign the paperwork confirming that. We are going to use teach back method. And again, we're going to ask those questions. Why are you taking this medicine? What are the side effects? Where should it be stored? How long should you be taking it? And what medications have been discontinued? What doses have been changed? Um, this is our current medication uh, reconciliation list. So we're going to have a next dose due column that will be filled in. There's going to be an asterisk noted beside any medication doses that have changed. And then there will be a place at the bottom where there will be a list of discontinued medications added. So point of discharge, I'm always living. remind the patient that the doctor wants them to take all the medications that are ordered on, but only the medications that are on their discharge sheet. They must call the physician before adding any new medications, including vitamins and herbs. Um, remind the patient to update their medication list and take it to any doctor appointments. And you also want to remind the patient to um, keep a copy of that list with them and give a copy to family as well. Make sure that the patient doesn't have any questions regarding their meds. Encourage them to ask any questions that they don't understand. And we just want to thank you.